as well as investing in infrastructure and innovation, there is one further part of our plan for growth that is crucial – providing a world-class education to all our people. Higher skills lead to higher regional productivity, and higher productivity leads to higher wages. With 80 per cent of the UK's 2030 workforce already in work, our future success depends not just on the schooling we give our children, but the lifelong learning we offer to adults. Yeah. We've already done a lot. Our plan for jobs invested in apprenticeships, traineeships and the Kickstart scheme, but we need to go further. Today's budget invests in the most wide-ranging skills agenda this country has seen in decades. We are increasing skills spending over the Parliament by £3.8 billion, an increase of 42 per cent. We are expanding T-levels, building institutes of technology, rolling out the Prime Minister's lifetime skills guarantee, upgrading our FE College estate, quadrupling the number of places on skills boot camps and significantly increasing funding for apprenticeships. Yep. We are also going to tackle a tragic fact. Millions of adults in our country have numeracy skills lower than those expected of a nine-year-old. According to the leading charity National Numeracy, this costs individuals with poor numeracy up to £1,600 a year in lost earnings. People with poor numeracy skills are more than twice as likely to be unemployed as their peers. So today I can announce a new UK-wide numeracy programme, Multiply. With £560 million, Multiply will improve basic math skills and help to change people's lives across the whole United Kingdom. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, we are building our infrastructure with new roads, railways and broadband, cementing our status as a science and technology superpower and strengthening the skills of our people, the country's greatest asset. That is a real plan for growth and that is how this Government is building a stronger economy for the British people. Yeah. 